everybody we're talking a little bit about some settings in vs code um specifically with the python extension uh and executing some code inside of vs code now specifically me myself i don't like to use the built-in terminal you can see down here i have this built-in terminal right and if i were to actually look at you know um my actual terminal right and make it of a reasonable size so you all can see it right this terminal looks the exact same as my regular terminal and in theory it should work the same but it doesn't always at least not until you adjust some of the settings so um when we're looking at this after you've opened your first python file in vs code it's going to ask you do you want to install the python extension you absolutely should do that it's going to give you text highlighting in python uh, and give you the ability to execute python inside of your vs code right and and one of the things that it does is up here in the upper right hand corner you can see it gives me this little play button now if i hit this play button now i know when i used conda to install my data science environment right my base environment that i see i'm in my base environment down here um it, it came with pandas right but if i clear out this and i hit play right it says there is no module named pandas while well, i know that i do have pandas installed and what's happening here is vs code the python extension is not looking at the correct version of python to use right it's just choosing a python installation somewhere on your machine and it's using that one it's not using the conda version specifically the version that it's using is most likely especially if you're on a mac a system that came with the operating system and i say especially on mac because the mac os actually uses both python 2.7 and python 3 to run some of the code for your operating system so it comes pre-installed at least to some level with some of the basics right but not data science tools like pandas so to fix this we need to just adjust a couple of settings we're going to preferences and then settings once i've gone here um, it brings up a search bar i'm going to want to search for environment once i've done that right i see under my extensions there are six search results all in the python uh all in the python extension right there are six settings which involve the word environment in the python right so i go to my python extension settings the first thing that i need to adjust and it's the only setting in here is this python uh terminal activate environment right this says activate the python environment in terminal created using the extension right this is saying i want to use the extensions python environment that's in fact not what i want to use at all um, I want to use my conda environment very specifically. So we have to make sure that that box is unchecked. Um, and that way it won't, um, you know, it, it won't actually, um, it, it won't actually use the wrong Python, at least until we um, select the right Python interpreter. You know, one one thing I was going to show you is, you know, you might you might see this error, no module named pandas and think, oh, I need to install it. So if I say conda install pandas, right, it's going to come up and, you know, the error that I'm going to get is something along the lines of, um, hey, you already have pandas installed. So so why are you doing this? Right. Maybe there will be an update available. Um, it, it looks like yeah there are some updates available right and it, it will let me uh install those updates we can go ahead and do that really quickly just get that updated it'll finish up with this in just a moment and then i'll try it again right but you you might say okay now i know for sure uh pandas is is uh installed and i click play and it still says no module named pandas right still not looking at the correct python interpreter right so the second thing we need to do is we need to select the correct uh python interpreter right let me i need to go back and double check that i left that setting right i didn't re-click it or anything go to python right make sure all three of my boxes are unclicked they are that's great 
right? The second setting I need to do is in the command palette. To get to the command palette on a Mac, you hit uh, command shift P. On a Unix, I believe it's control shift P, but you might have to Google that real quick. You know, uh, you know Linux, how to open command palette. Boom, it'll come up straight away, right? And what I'm gonna type here is I'm looking for Python select interpreter, right? This is going to bring me up a list of all the Python installations that my computer has, right? Um, I have a 2.7 installation. I actually have two 2.7 installations. Um, one that was made available to the user. You can see user binary Python. And then one that was in the system folder, right? This is the, the one that the Mac OS, the operating system is actually using, right? Then I have a couple, I actually have several Conda environments set up. I've got a 3.6 environment. I've got a 3.6.5 environment. You know, this again, right? You can see these are both in Anaconda 3 and they are associated with Conda, right? I can see that these are Conda environments, right? As opposed to here, this 3.6.5 64-bit, right? This is a user local binary Python installation. So this either came with my machine or I later uh, uh, installed it. I have another one for 3.72 down here, another one for 3.8.2, right? And that you can see that I have a lot of different environments set up here, right? But there's one that I want to use specifically, and that is my base environment, right? So whatever list of environments you have here, so long as you're working in your base environment, you want to make sure that you choose your base environment in Python. Let me go ahead and bring that up again, right? And just double check that I have chosen the right one, right? This is Anaconda 3 binary Python. This is the one that I want, right? I see down here it's now telling me I can actually skip the command palette and just click down here um, to, to jump right to that, Um but it's sort of an old habit for me to use that command palette. And now I go ahead and I run this, I hit that green play button and I think it should work. And I see now, right, I didn't get that pandas. So now we've got VS code pointed in the right direction. This play button will work. Um, but, um, you know, that, like I said, I don't use this built-in terminal. You know, the way that I set it up is I usually have two thirds of my screen like this and then I'll have a terminal and you know I'll sort of make this of a viewable size for you um, you know this is sort of my setup where I have my Python file over here you know and then I just made this file on the desktop if I list I should be able to see um, this is just test.py I can see it down here near the bottom um, I have to move my body out of the way so you guys can see it highlighted down there. But when I actually want to, you know, um, execute it, I can just say Python 3 uh, test.py, right? And it, it makes the import and then it runs Hello World. You can see that was a lot quicker than hitting the play button, right? But um, this is the setup that I prefer, most people prefer, but you will have to use the built-in terminal and have these settings appropriately when it's time to do live share and things like that. So that's it for these VS code settings. I'm gonna make sure this video gets posted into the Slack and also onto the learn module so everybody can go through this uh, really easily. Um, thanks for everything, see you in the next video or study hall, we'll talk to you soon.